Hi everyone. Right, I thought I'll do another talking video. <laughs> um, I've got this canvas that I've started um, and I'm going to be doing this uh, probably a bit at a time. I'm not going to really study it much. I've basically drawn what I want um, and then I'm going to be painting it, colouring it in, shading it and whatever. Uh, bit by bit. I've got this project on the go and I've also, and which I've shown recently, this one. I, um, I do have to put the textured paste on the outside um, and then I've got a bit of fluff in there um, uh, and then finish off the shadow box so I'm looking forward to doing that. Now one of these, I'm not sure which one, will also be put in with the 40,000 winners um, you know subscribers winner so you'll get your bag of goodies and one of these and I'm not sure which one I will ask the winner which one they would like once they're finished <laughs> I will try and get them finished this week actually both of them although I won't be doing this constant and I will show you it bit by bit as I complete each section of it um, I might video some of it as well I'm not sure <laughs> depends how I feel um but yeah i just want to show you these because these came in today let me just move this out the way uh these came in today um and i have put them up on the store and what they are look stay up stay up stay up what they are uh, acrylics and they're fairly big but they're all different so i've put these on the store and you'll get 12 uh, you know a variety of them um, and each pack will be different I'm just going to take out 12 different ones and that's the pack you'll get but uh, I'll make sure there's plenty of flowers in and things like that which there are there's lots of lovely goodies in here some really nice flowered things and different you know slippers and animals and they're cute for doing um, you know like your cards and things like that so they're really really pretty so they came in today now uh, the leaves came in today. Just let me... I don't know what I've done with them. I've put them away. I think I've put them in the drawer. Uh, there's another set. Go and have a look. There's another set of leaves that I've put up for sale. And um, I haven't got them here. I put the keys back on. The keys are back in. Um, and then... I've got some of these to go in the shadow boxes and that. And paint up and whatever. Um... But yeah, just some bits and pieces to uh, look forward to. Um, I've got to cut that off. Uh, I'm just filming. All right. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Will it clip? Maybe, maybe not. Could do. It'll probably shoot off somewhere. Not where I want it to go, actually. I better hold on to it. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, look. Come on, cut off. Uh, there you go. I don't want that, but I did want that off. And that's going to go on the shadow box, I think, and I'll paint it. Yeah, so I'm going to put that with the shadow box, because that's to go on there and be painted. Um, what I'm going to show you now, uh, while well, I remember, because somebody's been saying... What what shall we do with the bead cat? Uh, with the let's just have a look at these. With um, let me just find the right one. No, that's too big. Yeah, too big. Just hold the thought a minute. They wanted to know what we're going to do with. Is that so? Got a bunch too big. Or not big enough? Oh, it might be big enough. Uh, with the bottle caps so i'm going to just share a little project to help you with them if you if you're buying these from me of course um you will want to do something with them now here's a picture i'm not bothered about the picture itself i do want however i don't know about that face i don't actually like that face <laughs> um Let's just have a look. I'm just going to choose a face. And I have to choose one that actually fits the... Let's have a look. 
that one yeah that fits but i'm going to cut the uh, the head off and i don't want to do that one yeah maybe that one will do so i'm just going to trim that and see if i can get that cut like that see so what you can do with them is you can pop your picture in like that and then use your diamond glaze or glossy accents whichever you want to do like that now just put enough in there to seal it try not to get any um, air bubbles and the way to do that is to keep the nozzle inside what your you know the um, diamond glaze and you'll get it free of any bubbles and that will set that picture in there make it look like it's got a glass cover now that needs to be put on something straight flat so I'm going to put that to one side so that's what you can do with that and then you could add lace underneath it or bling around it and pop that onto your projects so I'm going to do that one um, and I'm just going to share one with you using a bit of lace and I'm going to use this one so I do need another picture so we'll do, we'll do the same thing we'll do the same thing so I don't often use this particular picture and I'm using a one inch circle like that so first of all what I'm going to do is stick the picture down I'm just going to use a a bit of E6000 to stick the picture down in there didn't really need to do it but I'm going to be using that to add a little bit of um, oh sorry I forgot to put the glue gun on so now what I'm going to do is get a little bit of bling to go around the edge now if I can find one small enough to go around the edge so I need to get that uh, elastic out now when you get bracelets that are stretchy all you need to do is to take the elastic out they've all got a little piece of elastic threaded through them that's how it holds them together and the best thing to do is to try and get that out and it's not an easy job I can guarantee you that but you can do it <laughs> It's not an easy job. I'm just going to see if that will actually fit in there. Let me just see. I still... Ah, oh yeah. Do you know what? I think that will. might need to take one bit out. Now, where's my little pliers? The, what they have... Oh, that's no good. Rubbish. What they have to join each section together is a little tiny, like an eye. It's like the shape of an eye. I don't mean an eye in your head. I mean like the letter I. And it's just a little... And you need to take that out of the last one. So let me just try this again. If I can do that, I might need to take one of those sections out. Yes, I think I do. So I'm just going to clip off one section twist it and it'll take that out but don't waste that one that'll come in handy somewhere else so let's have a look we can glue this in like so like that see and that's changed that all together so I think I'm going to do that because I don't have one smaller or do I I would have preferred one a little bit smaller you know the no that's they're all too big let me just have a look because i do have some more somewhere somewhere i have some smaller well i don't know where it is but i know i've got one we'll use that one so what i'm going to do <laughs> very 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 carefully is just to pop a little bit of this E6000 on the back of each one of them so 
So I don't want to get my hands blathered in it because you have to be really careful. Don't don't breathe this in. It is extremely strong glue. Hopefully we can do this neatly. Right, like that. Yeah, and don't worry about if it gets on the edges. Push it into the edge. And there. So we've got that. And then what I want to do is to just pretty it up a little bit more. And I'm going to use um, a small... Oh, I found some lace. Um, a nice vintage lace, I think. Let me see. Oh, there's a nice one. Let's uh, get a cream one or something. Yeah, a white one. This'll do because that's white, so we'll use a white lace. Um, and then all you have to do to add a little bit of lace all I'm going to do with it anyway make sure the lace is the right way around that's the um, underneath uh, the, you can tell by the stitching it's nice wide stitching on the top um, and if that works which hopefully it will just pop that on now it's already gathered lace and I would suggest that's what you use is uh, you continue to use gathered lace and then it really does make a difference and saves you having to do it yourself must keep going round and round So, hook that in like that. Cut that off. I'm trying to cut it on the lowest point. And then just hook that in there. Make sure that again is pushed in. And look. So you've gone from that to that. A lot nicer. I should have used a smaller one, but I didn't. I can't find mine. It is about somewhere, but that's fine. And then what I can do, if I want to, um, and I'm going to, <laughs> um, is use a little bit of small flat pearl. And I'm going to just attach, I think, and now just bear with me because I might not like that. No, I'm not. But I could put some more of this on the outside if I wanted to, to bling that right up. Actually, I like that as it is. All I need to do really, where's my, is just, there's a little bit of excess glue just there. and just take that off while it's wet you can do that but there you go just a way to do them up now the other way what you can do I'm going to need the E6000 and I'm just going to need some uh, bling so let me see I've got some of that um, oh trying to get bits and pieces that will uh, look nice um, where's my um, bits? Right, I'm going to use um, a really pretty pink like this. This is a nice pretty pink one. Acrylic. And just pop that there. You could do it either one, it doesn't matter. 
I've got some of these, like I say, we're going to take out the pink one, just twist it out, make sure you take that and twist that out, You just they just twist out. I'm going to add a touch of glue to that. Doesn't matter that it's uh, done, I'm going to put the other one in as well. I'll just put them two together like that. Um, and then I'm just going to get a pearl or two. Um, sorry, I'm just going to. I've got some flat pearls somewhere. Where have I put them? Uh, never mind, I'll use these. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to move things because uh, I've got boxes all over the place. Um, let's use some nice, oh, a nice pink one, oh, and a nice pink one there. So you can get your pearls like that. And then you pop that in there. I'm using three different shades, cream, light pink and pink. We just add them together like that. I've also got a, um, these I sell in the store as well. And it doesn't have to lay flat. It can actually, lean, you know, cross over and lean on the edge. That's okay. Put another pearl next to that one. And that leaves me with a little space here. Um, oh, I've got a stone. Oh, let's have a look. Shall we put another... No, I don't want to put another bling there. You can put anything. Let me just see what I've got here. This is my collection of bits and pieces that I take from other things. Let's have a look. But it doesn't have to be um, matching. What's this? Let's have a look. Oh, that's um, come from an earring. But I'm just going to clip that off. Right, it's got a multicoloured stone in. So we pop a little bit of glue in that, and we can pop that in that section. See? And you just keep building up like that. And then that you can add your lace to, and you get that. So they're really great for different things. Um, of course, you could steampunk them up a little bit. You can do whatever you like with them. Um, at the end of the day, it's completely up to you. And make them vintage, make them steampunk, you know, make them shabby chic. It really doesn't matter. And you could have them like that with a picture, like that with some bling. Make your handmade flower, add that to a handmade flower. And they'll all look stunning. And to prove it, um, I'm going to make mine into a flower. So I'm just going to get some vintage lace, which is not that one. Oh, that might do. Shall I use that one? Yes, I think I will. I've got a little bit of lace here. Flat lace that I'm now going to sew. And just let me put that bead away. Into um, a flower off put the glue back I don't want that to uh, drying up do we there we go it's a basic running stitch I'm only going to need about half of that wrong way Make sure we get it the right way. Just give it a really quick stitch.
I'm just going to check. Now somebody said about their flowers being flat or only doing half. When you're making a flower, like sew it all together like that, and then you bring the two ends together to meet. And that's how you do them. So I'm just going to leave this here. I haven't put too much gathering, though I love gathering mine. Um, I want this to be on show um, and people to look at that more than the flower. So I'm just going to tack those two together. You have to, you know, fold them side to side, you know, fold the sides in, then stitch it. And when you open that up, you'll end up with a nice full flower, not a half a one. And then I just glue mine back together like that. Some people stitch them. I do sometimes. It depends what I'm doing and whether it needs it. So there's my little flower. Now you see, that would look nice in there. But I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use that one. So it's just to glue that on in the centre. Work this round so it's more, see? And straight away we've got two different flowers. Uh, I can then put that onto another wider one um, or a doily or something like that. And they're going to look fantastic. So I hope that helps you. Um, I will be back to do some more videos shortly. Um, I'm just trying to sort the shop out. And then I will be back um, with several videos. And uh, we'll have some fun. And do some playing, I think. Because I like that best. Best of all is to play. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.